it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video. I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely adorable autism awareness wreath. If you're not familiar with, my son, Caden, who is 18 years old now, has Asperger's syndrome so that he is on the autism spectrum. And so autism awareness is very near and dear to my heart. And April is autism awareness month and April 2nd is light it up blue. So I figured for the month we would start off with a beautiful wreath. So if you'll give me a minute to change the camera angle, I will show you how to make this beautiful wreath. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I have all of my puzzle pieces laid out. We're going to be using crimson from master's touch for some of them so remember these puzzle pieces came from hobby lobby and i bought them when they were 50 percent off so this is the small pieces were 12 puzzle pieces for 2.99 and then the big piece was 3.99 for two of them but i'm only using one of those today so i just got some of my crimson paint and i'm going to just paint a good layer over four of these pieces because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to layer it up yet for the autism wreath, but I kind of wanted to show you what I'm doing. Now, I probably won't show painting all of them on camera because that will take too long, but for the main big puzzle piece, I'm using Master's Touch Medium Yellow. There we go. And it's just applying a good thin coat of paint. This is raw wood, so it might absorb some. So if the color is not the way you like it, you might need another color. But for the most part, this is a pretty easy peasy, straightforward job. Wipe the red paint off of my finger. There we go. And just paint. And I'm just using cheap sponge brushes from the Dollar Tree. You can use whatever brush works best for you. Or you can order them off of Amazon. Hobby Lobby sells them. As I said, it kind of just depends on what works best for you. One thing I do always recommend is to try to keep your paint going in the same direction as the wood grain. It just makes it look nicer and smoother. There we go. Next up, we have Master's Touch Photo or a fatho ceiling blue, I think is how you say that. I am not sure to be 100%. I bought from Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off a set of 48 of the Master's Touch acrylic paints. And yeah, it made it easier. And you can make it into any colors that you're wanting. But a lot of times whenever you're seeing things for autism, blue is a main color in the scheme of it um, because April 2nd is lighted up blue. But you also will see, because one of the slogans is making the pieces fit, uh, and they use the kind of almost your standard rainbow with green, like your primary colors with green. So you'll have red blue, yellow, and green. So we've got those done. So now I'm gonna use, this is light green again by Master's Touch. There we go. And we're just gonna paint them all on there. But see how easy this is to do. I mean, it's really not in a labor intensive project, but the end results you will see is going to be 
really, really cool. And as you know, part of the reason why I always do something for autism awareness is my middle child, Caden, he's 18 now, but he is on the spectrum. He has Asperger's and he doesn't mind if I talk about it. We've asked a long time ago because you don't want to mess with your kid's privacy. But there we go. So I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of these, and then we'll come back and show you how to put the wreath together. So as you can see, okay. So as you can see, this is a piece of core plus. This is 18 by 24 inches, so it's 24 inches long, 18 high. This is how I always do my tool. So as you can see, I take the roll and wrap it around until it's completely gone. So this way I get the pieces all at 18 inches across, roughly. So then I take my scissors, and it makes it a whole lot easier and faster whenever you're doing a wreath to do it this way. So I'll take and just cut. There we go. I'm a lefty in a right-handed world, so that always makes it difficult, but you know. And this is an awkward angle too. So I've, as you can see, I've already done the other three rolls of tool. And this doesn't have to be perfect. The thing with this is, is you can always make, trim it up later. tight and part of the thing is you want to do is you do want to hold your material tight and just cut all the way across there we go Just cut. It's so, as I said, this is much easier to do when I'm not on camera. But, you know, it is what it is. There we go. In each of these rolls of tool, these are the rolls of tool from Amazon. So these were each, what was it? 25 yards each? Okay, so now that that's part's done, as you can see, I have all the other colors laid out. So one of the things I'm gonna do is, to, this is just a standard wreath form from Hobby Lobby, they retail for $4.49. I always purchase them when they're 50% off and I'll purchase a few at a time. So I'm just gonna take the tool and I'm gonna tie this on here. Just double tie it, very easy to do. And I'm going to place four reds, four greens, four yellows, four blues. So it's gonna be four of each because if you go smaller than that with as thin as tool is it doesn't show the pattern very well so especially when you're using colors that are so, like more of these primary colors and then you just kind of keep squishing it together so that way this is nice and fluffy and stands out so we're going to go off camera finish putting all the fluff on and then i'll show you how to put the text on and glue everything together. Here is my big puzzle piece done, and I have my vinyl, it's all cut out. I used Oracle 651 for today's project, and I used it in matte black. So I've already cut and weeded it, and the file is available on my Patreon page for the $4 or more a month users, just so you know, I like to make everything that I use available on Patreon, so. Let's go ahead.
and remove the paper backing. I'm super excited for this. You know, with Caden, I'm not super involved with the autism community, but you know, I think that it is very important for there to be awareness out there because we shouldn't try to change our autistic kids or friends to fit the world. We need to change the world to fit them is how I see it. You know, I've said it before, but Caden, I would not change a single thing about Caden, period. I think he's absolutely amazing the way he is. So, so I'm just kind of centering it. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm just gonna squeegee it down and I do have my glue gun heating up because we are gonna use the glue gun to apply everything to the wreath. See how good that looks? So, we're gonna set that off to the side and I'm gonna grab my wreath, which now you can see what I meant. So it's got the four color pattern. So, I'm gonna start by gluing down just lost a glue stick. And part of the reason why I'm doing it like this is so I can make sure that we have the pattern that I want. And I'm sticking the flat edges of these because all these puzzle pieces from the small set are cut the same way. And since I want the puzzle pieces to kind of show I'm going to put the flat edges more towards the center instead of it being, there we go. So you kind of see what I mean? And we're just going to keep on layering. There we go. Isn't that looking so, so cute? And it also gives something for the eight inch puzzle piece to grab onto. There we go. And don't worry if you drip any glue outside of, you know, like what I just did on the top of that, it is perfectly fine. We are easily able to kind of fix that. So, and then I'm gonna just end it off with this red piece because there's not really enough room to take and put in another blue piece. So that's, and you can overlap them a little bit more. It's however you want to do it and whatever works for you. So now I'm going to kind of lay the center piece out so I can make sure I have it where I want it. So I'm just going to raise the edges to place them down. And then some under that. There we go. So 
Now that's done, what I'm gonna do is let this cool down and dry, and then I'm gonna take, just and peel the extra glue off because that's the fun of using a glue gun. I enjoy peeling it off. So that's it for this portion. So give me a minute, we'll change camera angles and go over everything we did. So hopefully you like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is typically a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I guess that's it, so we'll see y'all later. Bye.